Most exciting part of the G League this year. The NBA is not far away. Oh, hey, ah, yo, yo. Check out what your boy said about your boy. Hey, hey, man, get that phone out of my face, Marcus. Come no, on. Wait, no, come on, you're going to hear about it anyway. I mean, it's everywhere. Look, Corey Harris ain't the only player in the NBA. Whoa, whoa, look, look, look. It's not just Corey Harris saying it. All of the Lakers are retweeting it. <laughs> The timing could not be better for me. I mean, I got scouts coming to the stands. They don't want to miss the show. This is like chess. So who's running space and who's head now, huh? Yo, 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 yo. I don't want to disrupt your flow there, Bobby Fisher, but the scout ain't here for you. He's here for the Flying Dragon. Please, I would have heard about Listen, the Flying the, Dragon. He's the Heat's new forward from China, and he is knocking on the door of a 48-inch vertical. You're talking about Han Shi? Huh? Yeah, the Flying Dragon. Yeah. He was on the Jets in China. I... I guarded him when he played us in Shanghai. He showed me up then, but I know his game now. I can take him. No, no, no. The dragon is mine. See, this ain't about just showing off some scouts, Marcus. This is about winning the game, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> this dude, bro. Forget about him. He may be here to scout the dragon. Doesn't mean you can't take his attention. Take it. Yeah, but. I can't beat the dragon by myself. <laughs> but your game plays specifically to his weakness. So I'm gonna set you up all night, and we're gonna take that dragon down together. All right. Hello, and welcome everyone to South Dakota. I'm Blake Suniga with my partners, Tim Swartz and go. Brian Banafatemi. We have Matt Ants Road action for you tonight as they travel in to take on the Sioux Falls Sky Force. And although the Mad Ants can boast their own acquisition from China, the Sky Force, they can claim the same thing. Tonight, uh, we are so excited. Look at a chance to look at the man they call Flying Dragon. A fantastic forward prospect. And it makes sense that the Sky Force land a flying dragon, right? You see what I did there? From all reports, Han Chi is pure dynamite once he takes off into the air. Well, we're going to see if young AI and crew can tame the dragon soon enough. Well, the Mad Ants were excited to land AI, and he's continued to improve his game since he's arrived. He has put in work and is razor sharp in this focus. Sometimes a player is a late bloomer, and that might be the case with AI, given how he's stepped his game up. The way that AI has come out firing in his first few goes with the Mad Ants, there is talk that he could garner NBA attention. Exactly, Blake. If he keeps performing like he has, and doesn't slip up, you have to think NBA teams simply can't ignore him. But, uh, you know, the one thing is he can't get caught up in that. Just needs to go out and keep improving his game. Take it day by day. Right side, Han. And Connor Trigg with the block. NBA coaches, they just love to get defense out of the five spot. And seeing that block, it looks like uh, Trigg can do that. Just talking with AI and the rest of the team, you get the, the sense that AI has really started to find himself on, and maybe more importantly, off the court. Having a few games under his belt. Was Look at that dunk! Bam, bam! Oh, man, that was off the Richter scale. Beautiful body control. Han Chi takes the hit, maintains focus. That's a quality play. And his first trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Here's Fort Wayne. Pass to Tatum. And so it looks like the Mad Ants will retain possession here. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Day with the bucket. And without a doubt, Sioux City has been energized since bringing the Flying Dragon onto the roster. Boy, when you add a dynamic athlete like the Flying Dragon, it brings a spark to the whole team. We saw the same effect happen when the Mad Ants got AI. On the wing, Paul Tatum. Ducey with the steal. A one-on-one -on -one situation. Here's Han. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. Oh, from what we've seen so far, Han Chi relies on his leaping ability, his athleticism, 
his aggression. He needs to improve the shooting range, though. You don't get the name Flying Dragon by staying on the ground. He is sporting a 48-inch vertical. You combine that leaping ability with his height, and he might be one of the most feared aerial artists in short time. AI, Han defending. Back to AI, five on the clock. Tatum lets the three fly. Roberts with the rebound. And as you said with Flying Dragon, 48-inch verticals are something you just don't see. No, you really don't see that too much. And to be able to get up like that with the frame that he has, there is nobody who can leap like that on this level or the next level. Look, the NBA is just waiting for the rest of his game to catch up, and he's going to be entertaining for years to come. No doubt. Well, you figured out it was just a matter of time before the Flying Dragon came over to the States. The numbers and performances he put up in China were absurd. And you just know that a team was going to take a closer look at what he could do over here on this side of the pond. To the wing, right side. AI inside. Han defending. AI with the bucket. Yeah, I think AI did some work on his inside game during his time in China. He's looking very confident in that area. And as you said, it was the Heat and Sky Force that made the move to get Flying Dragon. And the Heat were very interested in him, and they feel he has a lot to contribute to their team. It might take some time for him to adjust, but that's why they... And here are the Mad Ants. It's a five-point game. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Pass to Randolph. That falls. Nice feed that time from Paul Tatum. That's their third straight make off an assist, and it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Well, you might remember Paul Tatum had some time in the NBA, and there's a chance he could make it back. A few good performances at the end of the season, and there's a chance he gets called back up to the NBA. Here's Ducey. The Sky Force again can't hit. Pass to Tatum. 18 feet out. He squares up and sinks it. Another good pass. Impressive offensive execution from them. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off an assist. And with Tatum, as you said, it would most likely be his last chance on making an NBA roster. And even though he isn't the youngest player on the roster, he still has the makeup to help an NBA team for a stretch run. If he gets hot, he could end up a 12th man on a team looking for a veteran presence, but he has to show that he can still be an impact player by putting up numbers in games like this one. AI inside, defended by Starks. Tatum, that's good. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Every pass is with purpose, and their last 10 points have come off of assists. Great team basketball on display right now. Two minutes remaining. Pass to Starks. Can't get the three to fall. Rebound battle split about evenly. Yeah, neck and neck on the glass. Just one aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game. And we love the close games. Absolutely. You know, road life in the G League, it can be rough. Getting wins as an away team, it's no easy task. This travel isn't as easy as it is in the NBA. A lot can go wrong on the road, and it feels like everything is stacked against you at times. Outside, Roberts. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter play. Here's Benjamin. That shot off the mark. The Mad Ants go the other way with it. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And it's Tatum missing. Man, as you said, road wins in the G League are never easy. No, they're never easy. Come on, Blake. And it's not just the opposing crowds. You're sometimes getting in town late on a bus, sleeping in a strange motel. There might be bed bugs on your bed. Uh. And G League players truly feel what it's like to experience road weariness. I mean, I'm feeling it right now. Yeah, me too. It's stolen by Tatum. 
Well, you, you might have seen that article about Marcus Young recently. He's certainly a star in the G League. Yeah, when you have the offensive talent that Young does and are as driven and ambitious as he is, you're destined for great things. Definitely a name to watch in the G League. Yeah, one to follow, definitely. Day. That falls. Nice feed that time from Paul Tatum. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off. Oh, oh mercy! Don't get in his way! Come on! The ground is still shaking! Move! Outrageous move, but uh, that's what he's known for. The flying dragon giving us a show. Six seconds separating the shot and game box. The drive by AI. And it's good for his eighth straight basket in only eight attempts. Hey, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint, and they keep scoring points. And you know, Brian, there's not really a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting in the paint like they have been on this run. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. The Mad Ants on top, up by three. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. You look at AI in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, I noticed more than anything about his first half, it really was about not wasting his opportunities. He made just about every good look he got. And they were pretty much all good looks. His shot selection has been phenomenal throughout the game. With the numbers he puts up, you figure it was just a matter of time. NBA teams have their eye on Young. Not surprising at all, given his burst. The latest rumor is that the Lakers have the most interest in him right now. But a lot of teams could be looking at him late in the NBA season. Pass to Roberts. Back to Lee. Takes the three. It's hauled in by the Mad Ants. Not a big margin for them in terms of rebounding, but it's enough to get the job done. Just one more advantage in the stat column, but it's translated to this lead. Back to AI. Block at six. Back to Tatum for three. Rebounded by Evans. Sioux Falls trailing here. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. On the wing, Benny Ducey. Back to Lee. And it's Marcus Young with the rebound. One thing with Coach Keller is that he wants to impact more than just basketball knowledge to his players. Absolutely. Coach Keller is of that vein where he wants his players to experience life outside of basketball, to be well-rounded men in the community. I know it's something that the players get behind and appreciate from him. Hey, he's just such a great coach on and off the court. Here's Roberts. Soft touch off the glass. They get one to drop. One of four here in the third. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Here's Tatum. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. They're three of four to start the half. And so here is Sioux Falls. They trail by nine points. And Flying Dragon guarding over from China, just like AI on the Mad Ants did. The two, they had faced off against each other, uh, had some great battles from what I've heard. And maybe that was... Han up top, day covering. And it's Han missing. The game plan, it needs to change if they're gonna get out of this hole because uh, he is not helping their offense. Daniels right side. And here's AI out. Drilled it right as the clock hit, all zeros. What a clutch shot, he's got nerves to steal. Well, you've gotta have some nerve to hit a shot like that at the buzzer. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may... I was just an only child. Welcome back, fourth quarter of action starting up in what has been a one-side show. 
Pass to call their own. Back to AI. Now call their own. Han defending. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to AI. And the Mad Ants, another three. They came out of halftime smoking hot from beyond the arc. Yeah, and as hot as they are from out there, there's absolutely no reason not to just keep letting them fly. I agree, Brian. They should all have the green light. Han with the bucket. Good job by Han Chi, not just roaming around the perimeter. He wants to be right in the thick of the action. Randolph covered by Evans. Daniels outside. Out to the wing. Pulls up on the elbow. The shot that time, not on target. Now the Sky Force take it the other way. Lee outside. Unable to get that one to go. Great D that time from Bryson Daniels. Here's Calderon. That's short off the rim. And just about over one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. AI with the block. And really a big part of shot blocking is timing. AI showing that he's capable of rejecting shots. Randolph, pass to Daniels. Day, Han defending. Back to Daniels. And here is AI. Some solid defense from Han Chi. Oh, hammered, and he'll go to the line. It's going to be on AI. Active and athletic, Han Chi is a tough First challenge defensively. But let's see what he does at the line. Shooting for Sioux Falls. He's perfect from the line this time. And here are the Mad Ants. Pass to Randolph. To the wing, right side. Day. Here's Randolph. On the wing, AI. Four on the clock. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. As soon as uh, AI turns it on, get out of his way. I mean, look at him do his thing and take over. Time called here. The Skyforce decide to talk it over. AI really making a difference here. He's been gunning from deep. If you're guarding him, you've got to get into his jersey. You can't sag off him at all, or you're just asking him to drop another triple on you. Here's Roberts, not wasting any time in taking the shot and hitting it. And this is big for your offense. When your big man can see the floor and make plays for his teammates, nice job by Evans. Oh, hammered, and he'll go to the line. And the first one at the line is good. An interesting thing I heard of first the first Shooting for Sioux Falls. Han Chi. One shot. Now AI, Trigg up top, pass to Madison. Day, Han defending. Some solid defense from Han Chi. Now here's Day, covered by Boss. Here's Starks. Second chance shot, and it's blocked by Lou Grace. In the G League, you've got to show off your defensive chops. And Grace is making a strong case for his defense with that block. He was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. Now here's Starks. Not a lot of room. Here's Han. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot, and he'll go to the line. It goes on Lou Grace. 
This is Han Chi's game, putting the ball on the floor and beating people to the spot. So both teams making some changes here. Substitution on the court. Stolen by Barton. All by himself. In the jam by Clifford Barton. Quick hand to the steal and Matt hops in the slam. Great sequence for them, defensively and offensively. And good defense leads to easy baskets. Yeah, Tim, you hit it right on the head. One usually leads to the other, and that's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball. And that's the buzzer, Matt Ants win. They showed a lot of grit to come in here and walk out with a road win. And coming out of Sioux Falls with a road win, it is no easy task. The Sky First were, were fired up with Flying Dragon added to the team, but the Mad Ants were able to stay in control and put things away. And I think the Mad Ants are the type of team to elevate their own level of play in order to spoil the debut of someone like Flying Dragon. Fantastic effort from them. And some momentum being built for the Mad Ants with this win. That'll be it for us here in South Dakota. For Tim, Brian, and everyone here, I'm Blake Suniga saying thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Yo, AI. So, you're the big scout that everyone's been talking about. That's what you think, man. Am I finally walking? Look, Coach Keller might seem like he has a bag of marbles in his head, but the dude knows the game, <laughs> that, man. That doesn't really answer my question, but... I'm here, aren't I? Something's still missing. Marcus Young. Kid can play. A lot of eyes on him, too. What's with you, man? I, I try to ask you a direct question, and all I get is this runaround. Like, I don't understand. There you go. Like, the world owes you a spot in the NBA. All I do is work. That's all I do. And I just can't get a break. That's my problem. You said it yourself. Something is missing. Don't ask me for answers you already have. Well, so Marcus has this all figured out, and I don't? Maybe. Look, I like Marcus' game. I've never talked to him. I don't know him. I do know you. People are starting to talk about you. You're making people's boards. Scouts are looking at you. But there are a lot of other guys out there, too. I mean, what separates you? Why should I pick you over Marcus? Whoa. Um, what are we doing right this now? Is, this is my, my teammate, um, Howie. Yeah, I know who he is. His form is impeccable. It's a work of art. <laughs> the rest of his game is... Basically, rec league, but <laughs> his form should be taught in books. You're Big Toonie, right? I am. Well, why is my hand going through you like it does with other ghosts? No, nope. We're not doing, nope. The point is, AI, you're close. Just one missing piece. He did say that thing about my jumper, right? I, di I didn't just dream that? Who raised you? That's what I want to know. Oh, because I'm going to make my future no. children so sick of that story, it's going to be great! Listen, I want you to start selling what Marcus Young is going to be six months from now. Then they're going to turn around real quick. Exactly. See, you and I are going to do great things. Watch. So I'm in Texas right now. We have one more game against the Vipers, but then after that, I want you to... Yeah, uh, I'll call you back tomorrow. I didn't hear you. It's your room, too. You can take a call. Yeah, but I just didn't want to take it in the hallway because everybody would hear me asking, like, Marcus, what's going on, you know? <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, man, I get it. Yeah. Only a matter of time. All right, well, um, you know what? I'll let you get back to it. And uh, I'm sure you got a few more phone calls nah, to make. Nah, nah, I got too much energy. I'm about to go get a run in. You can take the room. Plus, you look real tired anyway. You know, there's more to this game than taking the last shot and getting your numbers. Corey Harris taught me that. Oh, really? Tell me more. Were you guys on the beach <laughs> with the stars? Man, go take your walk, man. I met plenty of people like you, AI. You know nothing about me, bro. You think you're special. You think the whole world revolves around your thoughts, your feelings? 
I got a family and people counting on me just like you. There's 491 players in the NBA. Most of them, like Corey Harris, like blue blood, so everything was just handed to them. But the rest of us, we down here, we gotta fight for the few spots that they didn't take. So if the only chance I have is by stepping over my competition, I'm going to do that by any means necessary. And right now, that's you. You better believe if I got to go through you, I'm going to slice you right down the middle and clear that path. It doesn't have to be that way, man. It does have to be that way. And you know it. Even though your little girlfriend downtown got your brain off. Don't you dare bring her into this. Whoa. Don't you dare talk about her. Whoa. Don't you dare. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I touched the nerve. Keep talking, man. I dare you. Keep talking. Hey, hey! Knock it off! Knock it off, guys! You lay one hand on him, and you're benched against the Vipers, okay? You too, Marcus. I'm serious. I don't know what started this, and I don't care. It ends right here, right now. You got me? Do you got me? Yes, coach. Yeah, coach. Come on, guys. I came up coaching high school volleyball, okay? And those kids never gave me this amount of grief. Not once! By the way, it's a very complicated sport. Don't know that I ever fully got it. That's beside the point. Get your gear. You're rooming with Howie now. Oh, dude, awesome. Yeah, we just got to get you some earplugs. Oh, Howie, do us all a favor, dude. Go to the drugstore, get one of those nasal strips, staple it to your nose. Well, no, Doc says it's hereditary. It's so. not hereditary, dude. I'm telling you, okay? You have a serious medical condition. And the rest of you guys, why don't we try to act like adults, okay? It's clearly hard for us to behave like basketball players, so let's just be adults. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go hit the showers. girl has a new lease on life thanks to surgery at the hospital for sick children. Tracy Hooper was given the liver of a nine-year-old accident victim in a four-hour operation. Hooper is in critical but stable condition, normal after such an operation. Her condition will be monitored for 72 hours to see if there's any sign of organ rejection. Rick Manson's World Motion Tour is over and what a success it was. Manson skateboarded across Canada in 11 months, raising over $14 million to fight heart disease. He covered over 5,000 miles, averaging about 100 miles per day. Manson says he wants to thank all who donated to his cause and wants to remind us that even though his journey is over, the battle against heart disease must continue. Tom and Harriet Banks are the lucky winners of this past weekend Super Lottery draw. The pair came forward to claim an $11 million prize. Hey, aye! The media. Oh, it smells like exhaustion and sadness in here. You're lucky I got some medication. Uh, why does this look like something I need a alibi for? I know how you get hard on yourself, okay? So I was walking back from the pharmacy, anti-snore strips in hand, when I ran into this guy in the alley. And he looked tweaky, but he knew a guy who called a guy, and... BAM! <laughs> whoa, 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 hey. Pretty sure fireworks are illegal here, bro. Not when we're five miles from the Mexican border. Mm, somehow that makes him sound more illegal. Will you relax? Fireworks are legal within city limits, and since we're in the middle of nowhere, you can lighten up, my friend. By lighting up. What do you say? Uh, I'm only going to ask one more time. Let's do it. Hey, hey come on, man. Oh. Quiet down. I'm not any louder than the fireworks are gonna be. Look, I'm just trying to make sure the coach doesn't notice us. I'm already on thin ice. Let's be honest, man. We played like garbage tonight. We were uptight. We were stiff. That the road's getting to us. For the good of the team, man, you need to chill. Right, right. Blow Listen, off some steam. I'm having a great time. I just want to make sure I keep having a great time by not getting caught. Oh well, then. Here's a big old double shot of good time right here. I light one end, you light the other. Amen, let's not hit the bus. Five, four, four three, two, two one. <laughs> <laughs>
I told you. Oh, I think I'm in love. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, uh, Howie? Uh, Yo, Howie? Uh, oh, Howie. Oh, God. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think it's time we, uh. Yeah, we're inside. Okay, let's just say that this didn't happen. What didn't happen? Nothing happened. Run! All right, everybody, listen up, listen up. Unfortunately, the fire department says the cause of this fire was most likely fireworks. Some kind of projectile. Pow! Okay, and I'm especially bummed because I lost all my cool clothes in the fire. Now the fire department has to go inside the building, and make sure it's all safe for us before we return. And guess what? That's time we don't have. That might take all night. Howie. Huh? I'm, uh, well, yeah. Yeah? Did you go to the drugstore? No. Get those breathing strips like I told you? No. I, I mean, yeah, yes. Breathe them clear, sir. All right, good hustle. Thanks, coach. The rest of you guys are going to hustle onto the bus. And I'm going to try to figure out who started this fire? What kind of basketball team burns down their own hotel? Onto the bus. Everybody. You can't leave me hanging like that. <laughs> Wait, what, what you mean? Come to our game again. Da da da. That's all you said. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Um, I'm in our game against the Memphis Hustle. It's our last road game, the classic. Playing in the old school gym in Nice Town. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely be there. Can't wait to see you. What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing, just um, the road, this game. You're on the right path, AI. The bigger vision, it's there. Yeah, that's what Big Tuning keeps saying. Big Toonie? That's like seeing Bigfoot or Einstein and they had an encyclopedic knowledge of the Eurostep. You met him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually met him a couple times. Okay, and this is the first time that you're telling me? This is the first thing we're talking about when I get into Nights Down. All right, get some sleep. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that might be a problem. How come? Mm, well, uh, there was a fire at the hotel. What? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, everybody's, everyone's totally fine. It's just, um, you know, just a crazy accident. Uh, but, you know, we sleep on the bus tonight, so never a dull moment.